This is Plastic Adventures. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Plastic Adventures podcast. I am Doug, and this is Steve, and we are back for more adventures in toy collecting. That's right. Adventures. I said it because it's adventurous. Everybody comes along on the adventure with us. <laughs> hey, you know what? Uh, they don't call it finding it in the wild for nothing. That's right. Toy hunters. We're toy hunters. That makes it sound more manly. We are toy hunters. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's, it's now socially acceptable, so I'll take it where I can get it. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. So, yeah, it's sharing time today. Uh, we've been absent for a few weeks, and I think both Doug and I have picked up a couple of cool things, and we want to show you guys what we got. That's right. Yeah. Uh, do you want to start us off with? with yeah, I can because I I think it might be a little one sided, but um, because I got quite a few little things, so we're we're gonna go through this really really quickly here. Right. Uh, we have a thing called Shipwreck Fest in Anacortes that they do once a year, typically in the summer. Um, it's like two blocks and it's lined with vendors like flea market style. Oh, very cool. Uh, yeah, this year was I I think I got through it in about twenty two or twenty three minutes because I didn't have anybody in tow. I move pretty quickly at these things. <laughs> uh, there was a reasonable amount of pretty cool stuff. Uh, I will show you the least cool stuff out of my stash this week, but it's still oh. kind of neat. Uh, I was I was um, fifteen dollars into it by the time I left Shipwreck Fest. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to show you the parts because everybody knows them, but if you know what this backpack is, I got a full set of accessories. Oh, um, yeah. That's yeah. Snow Serpent. Snow Serpent, yeah. yeah. Hard, hard to get his little blue pouch, but I got some of those. I think I spent like 10 bucks getting his accessories finally. Nice. Uh, you, found, you actually found some intact blue pouches. I did, yeah. Yeah, was, this guy was selling like G.I. Joe accessories. He was missing half the figures, but um, I, I got a really good deal on it. For 10 bucks, I got the full run of parts for for uh, snow serpent i actually have um, a an extra snow serpent do you need a figure no i got the figure oh okay i was gonna say really i got nice. the figure if you've got the parts we can put one together <laughs> yeah i had a really <laughs> nice figure uh i just didn't have his parts i had him paired up with accessory pack parts and i really wow. wanted it to to get complete um five bucks for these oh battle beasts and those are the yeah. good ones too they they don't have their rub marks but those are in good condition uh yeah this guy's missing it the owl has it. Oh, okay. Uh, I see it. And uh, as because the guy was a collector that was selling these things, he decided to toss me in a bonus at no charge. And uh, I got uh, GoBot Slicks. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's like an, in, he's an indie car. Uh, I wasn't going to buy this separately because I, I got plenty of GoBots, but he was just like, oh, dude, you're cool. Here, take this GoBot, live long and prosper. <laughs> uh, right on. Very so cool. Very cool guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll go again because uh, it, yeah, it does. See. Yeah, yeah. So it's no, it's no secret. I, I love Hasbro's, right? Uh, I have almost the full set of Hasbro's. Um, <laughs> Mattel is making a really great line of these retro style, oh, that's right. like Hasbro inspired uh, wrestling figures. These both happen to be out of some exclusive four packs that you have to buy all four figures. Mm. Um, they're like 60 bucks for these four packs. And I just, I couldn't get myself to to buy two four packs and spend $120 Seriously, to get, I get it. this Hulk Hogan that can finally, oh <laughs> my gosh, he can leg drop. All right. Yeah, uh, brother. And uh, Vader, one of my very favorite big men from wrestling. I love Vader. He had, had this really like stiff, Big bad realistic guy. looking style i think i don't know what his action feature is i think you just pull him back a little and he lunges forward uh -oh. like uh, i think it's called quote like quote unquote action feature <laughs> yeah um extra value meal attack or something i don't know like he's really excited to, to dig into that and get the <laughs> oh you can you know, eat. <laughs> super size fries uh, so happy happy to get him you know like a I got them both on eBay. I got good deals on both of them, finally. So uh, I was really, really happy to score those figures. Right on. Okay, let's see. Let's see one of the cool things you got. Yeah, I'll show off. Uh, so uh, I'll show a, a local find that I've got. Um, I went thrift store hopping with uh, my son Lincoln, uh, and we like to look for little odds and ends. And we went into a store that we don't always go into. It's called Hunter and Gatherer in the Uptown. Uh, it's a, like a, a little thrift store on the on the Jadwin side. 
Yeah, I pay like zero attention to that place. It's always been a bust for me going in there. Well, they actually have some pretty good stuff. A lot of the things I'd already had, so I wasn't going to pick them up again. But actually on my way out, I caught a glimpse of, of something that I hadn't, you know, got another view of uh, of one of the shelves. And I went, hold on, wait, what are those over there? So I go over there, pick up this jar, and it's full of these Soma stompers. What? Seriously, yeah. So I've got that no, guy. Uh? Got that guy. No freaking way, dude. Those aren't knockoffs. No, they're somas. They're and and I looked them up. I was like, okay, uh. they're not they're not stompers. So I'm like, what are they? So I looked them up, and they're they're from a company called Soma, which is they they made them just like stompers. The only thing they don't have is the uh, the headlights, right? They don't they don't have headlights that the the stompers do. Uh, but um, I picked these up for eighteen bucks, and I'm like, that's freaking what? Cool. And then I go look them up, and I'm like, just this guy alone was going for eighty bucks. Oh, shut the front door! Seriously? I'm not kidding. I've never even seen. I was like, wow, that was awesome. I was like, what? Just the stompers, but it also had these in them. So I'm like, maybe Steve might need these. So these are actual stomper shells, the full. So I know you oh. like stompers. You said you did. I I like them. I don't collect them. Uh, uh, because they're super expensive yes well, yeah so but these are the good shells there's no there's no yeah look at them. those so if if i can find the stomper uh wheel assemblies for them we got two full Dude, stomper got, sets right there you got bank there yeah man and that's that was a great definitely find. worth it that was yeah, definitely that, worth it awesome dude that's that's terrific man you it, you know <laughs> it it might not quite be some of the scores that you happen upon on the inland northwest, but uh, that's that's pretty impressive. But it's cool when you're that's not great. looking for it and it's a local one, right? So you're just like, where did this come from? I was not expecting to see anything like this. So uh, I'll go one more. And so sure. today I got um, one of the G.I. Joe classified figures that I've actually been waiting for since G.I. Joe classified started, right? <laughs> 120 <laughs> figures ago. I finally get the figure that I, I was like, oh, yes, really cool. Um, Because there's a couple of figures that I really like. I mean, I got some of them already. I got Snow Job, got Torpedo, um, right? And I got Barbecue. And I really liked, like, you know, some of these support figures. And so, like, I'm waiting for Sci-Fi. I'm waiting for Lifeline. I'm waiting for Blowtorch. But one of the big ones, the absolute big ones, was Dom. Oh, yeah. Did you find him local? No, I bought him on Hasbro. Oh, okay. Okay. God, that figure is so freaking good. And so the cool features about this is they, they updated his military gear, which a lot of the vests nowadays are all modular, right? So you can you can mix and match your pouches. You can mix and match what, however your loadout is, it's all customizable. And so they did that for Doc. They're like, all of his, his things can come off and they wow. can put in different loadouts. And he's got his flare gun. He's got an actual gun because, you know, he's a field medic. And then it comes with a stretcher oh. and it fits on his back. It's got a peg that he can carry on his back, but then it also folds out into the full size stretcher. Dude, that is rad. I love that. Isn't that cool? And it folds out a certain, like when it flips, you've got the handles on the other side. On the other side. So yeah. if you put a guy on there and carry him, it's going to be rigid enough that it doesn't like bow or look funky or weird. Exactly. That is cool. It is very cool. Yeah, I'm, I, with each new figure, I, I I know we say this a lot, but GI Joe Classified really is one of the best lines that modern toys have to be. Like, if if you want to be competitive in the toy market, you've got to be able to be on GI Joe Classified level because they're just there, phenomenal. Yeah, there are so few slip ups in yeah. that line, and they're usually just a little paint app or something that that looks funny, you know, or like the flesh colored translucent plastic where you can't see the face details or garish kind of like lip color or something yep. but but uh, easy, overall easy like you could like... you could put a coat of paint on that on those figures and like on the face and it's it's like a masterpiece and it is uh i never you know like I, I saw that doc but i didn't realize the full scope of like cool stuff the figure could do yeah i mean he he's definitely they upgrade him they modernized him a little bit, but he still has that old school G.I. Joe feel with his nice tan khaki, you know, outfit. Uh, he's even got the little pills on the side of his helmet, right? So they they think of a lot of little details when they put these these figures together.
Yeah, yeah, and you could probably take the take the uh, web gear stuff off of him and have him look pretty convincingly like original Doc. Yeah, somebody's already done that and posted pictures online, and he does look really good. So yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's uh, let's keep up the GI Joe stuff. I'm, I'll show like the second, maybe third most exciting thing that I got because I've been looking at this one for a long time. All right. Uh, in a little store called Wits End in Stanwood, and I kept passing and I kept passing, and they marked the price down a little bit. Uh, this is one of my absolute favorite designs from GI Joe. Oh, Firefly, yeah, yeah. But this this Firefly is like super minty. Really? Like he is so stiff. The the joints, uh, the oh. paint is perfect. Came with the gun, came with the backpack cover. Uh, all I'm missing is the phone. Which is but, what everybody kind of is missing, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I can I can hook that up. I'll find a way. But uh yeah, I'd never I've never seen one in this good a condition before. I mean, it's like he just came right off of the card. So nice. uh, my, my yeah, firefly uh... was a bit yellowed. Uh, he's got one of those typical, like, classic G.I. Joe knees that doesn't stay locked out. You know what I mean? Like, it's just this flimsy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that was really nice. Able to able to grab this one at a, a super good price. And, uh, you know, that's he Firefly is one of my absolute favorite designs from G.I. Joe, like tragically underused. Oh, he's even got his little insignia still on. That's his what arm. I was going to say. Does yeah. he, is it still nice and clear? Yeah. No, no, if you can. Yeah, you can see it. Very nice. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, tragically underutilized Joe design, but like hard to even believe he's a bad guy, too, when you've got snake eyes all dressed in black. And I know. <laughs> uh, but uh, I guess I'll, I'll stay on this. I'll share one more. Go for it. Um, these things are starting to, starting to get out there. Yes. All right, so that's the so it's got a bit of a texture to the skin, right? And it's yep. got some some painted accessories. Do they all have the same head, just painted different, or no? Oh, okay. no. So here's the weird thing, right? Like if you look at the head sculpts on these figures, they really did use the classic head sculpts, like for the the grimace that's on them, mm -hmm. uh, except Leonardo. He he's the only one where they went a little bit weird. Can you see like he doesn't show teeth on one side? Yeah. And then this one, you can see. Yeah, the teeth on. It was it was him and Donatello that had like flipped. One side was teeth, one side wasn't. Um, yeah, so I got kind of mixed feelings about these. I've got all four of them. Hmm. Uh, the display showed up at my Walmart. When you see the pictures online, it looks like they're just like perfect as you remember right. them, until you see them next to the original turtles. And as hard as they tried to to get these things to kind of like look like the classic turtles, um, the colors are a bit off, the proportions are a bit off, and the turtles had these like notorious fixed right. legs, right? You cannot like he doesn't. They don't have like toe articulation or anything. Oh, so you so can't put them in the exact form. Huh? You can't get them in the exact poses. So I I don't know. I took Leonardo out of the package. I mean, this is kind of what they're going to look like when you when you see them at your Walmart. Mm -hmm. um, okay. If I ever see them at my Walmart, my Walmart. You will, dude. Like, if if you go by there, it's in a giant like thing that's a, a pallet size rollout. Mm -hmm. um, what's kind of cool is this: this Michelangelo actually has chain nunchucks. Oh, they're chain. Okay. They're, yeah. So, yeah. A, so no, no longer movie. no longer are you going to get the, you know, those thin little plastic things that like break almost instantaneously right um you know they did make somewhat of an effort to make the colors similar similar colors of green but the shades are all a little bit darker than the original figures so uh you know you got Raphael, which is really really light in color yeah but it's like... pretty cool yeah yeah so these actually are really good figures they're they're like 12.99 a piece so they are very much like an Origins Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. That's um, good. But I do think that Origins did it just a tiny bit better with their articulation, being able to to get the turtles into those into those specific, or to get the the Origins figures to to do the He Man pose, you know. Right. Um. So, so yeah. So now I, that you have those in hand, go back. What was it two years ago when they did the retro re-releases where they were pretty much the exact same ones that I yeah. had as a kid? That is that one of the retros? It is, yeah. Okay. So comparative, which ones do you think did 
do it better? Did the retros do it better or did this new uh, articulated line do it better? Well, I'll tell you what, if you're going to pick one and you're 40 some odd years old and you have male pattern baldness and you collect toys, <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you're going to pick one, get the retros. They're the same price. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it pushes the nostalgia button a little bit better, but you can look behind me and see there's a crap load of masters of the universe figures on my wall. And that doesn't stop me from buying a few origins. So that's right. That's right. You know, if you're, if you got the room, these guys do kind of give you a little bit of a retro feel. Uh, they're put together a little bit better. The accessories are stiffer and mm -hmm. uh, they really did go to great lengths with some of these details on the, on the belts and everything. So uh, how, how much are they going for, for each one? 1299. Okay. That's not bad. Yeah, so it's, it's cheaper than an Origins figure, and they're like loaded down with accessories. So, all right, uh, good good figures. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to hang on to them or not. I'm I'm kind of like in betwixt and trying between. To, trying to iffy. Yeah. Right. On. Yeah. Well, they're cool either way. I mean, I I, I think they're pretty slick. So. Uh, yeah, I yeah. I mean, like they, yet, so I, I guess I'll wait and see. But. Yeah, for for that price, I mean, it's it's really cheap. You can just have them to have them, but. If you had to pick one, I do I do like gravitate more toward the retro re-releases because they just it gives you that feeling back again when you pop them off of the card and it's just like when you were a kid discovering who the turtles were for the first time. Exactly. Yeah, I know. I love the vintage. The vintage. I mean, that's why we do this, right? We we're recollecting our old memories. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so you got to re recollect you got there. <laughs> uh, so uh, from before I show you this, so. Um, uh, met up with uh, a new local bunch of guys, uh, mm -hmm. which we'll cover that in a in a future uh, podcast. Uh, uh, really got hit it off with one of them. Uh, went over to his house and and talked, you know, talked like we always do. Talk about toys, talk about memories, and and connect on that level. And and you know, you find out who your bros are, right? And so, uh, very cool guy I met with. And and one of the things that we did in our our trading, we got through. Uh, I got some pieces for some vehicles, uh, G.I. Joe vehicles that I had been missing for a while. So I was able to piece some of those together and be super happy. Uh, I found some G.I. Joe set, uh, some of the smaller sets, like the Forward Observer set. Uh, I never oh, had cool. that before. He had that in, in his piles and stuff. So it was like, it was really cool. But one of the big things that really caught my eye and, and I was super happy to get was the the vintage Modulock from the Horde. Inbox. Yeah, and that thing is so gorgeous. Look Isn't at the condition great? of that of that box that that's in. Yeah, the colors are just still like wow. And then you know on the back, yeah, a million different combinations. Do you remember? Yeah, the and first some time of those they... are like really. I don't know if I would call those combinations. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but you're. You know, I mean, you're right. You can put it together that way. I don't know why you would want to, but you can. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think I saw that for the first time in a Kmart, and I'm like, "What's the horde?" Yeah. Oh my God, does is Skeletor not He Man's enemy anymore? And uh, uh, they had Modulock and Multibot, mm. and you Multibot's can even the same thing. Yeah, he did. He's yeah. You can put them together. Actually, I think they have the same connectors. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, very very cool. That's a hell of a score. Yeah, and you know uh, our vintage um displays he fits perfectly right in there so super happy to get him and but more importantly um super happy to make a new connection and a new friend uh and hopefully uh in a future podcast um uh, we'll be able to to show everybody who that is <laughs> yeah yeah we're, we're trying to do a little like crossover facebook thing here to 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 help out our groups um the plastic adventure started off as a local tri-cities group and then i just moved away so sorry <laughs> Uh, yeah, so now we're regional, isn't that cool? Or we're multi-regional. Yeah, we're we're now Washington State <laughs> uh, and beyond. Right on. That was the last thing I have. You got anything else? One more. One more surprise. One more. Yep, one more. Glad to have it. Oh, retro beachhead. Yep. Yeah, I can't and wait to pull this guy out gorgeous. of Gorgeous. And you don't collect classified, man. So that's that's a that's a wow. Uh, <laughs> it has to be something really cool, like. I, I collect Duke and Sergeant Slaughter. Mm -hmm. That being said, I managed to take two different Lady J's and Frank and Joe them into a really cool Lady uh, J. I did buy the Flint, 
because that's a really rad figure. Yep. Uh, I had I got that Snake Eyes that came with Timber because he was Great super figure. cheap. I got him at at um, uh, Ross. But dude, I mean, come on, come on. No, if I would have seen him in the store, I'd have picked him up too right away. It's a pickup from a local GameStop. Nice, good My GameStop here. That's a great one. I mean, he looks very much like his original figure. Yeah, Those yeah, terrific. It's it's an amazing figure. I can't wait to to bust it open and put it on the shelf. Um, God, it makes me want to have to get like Falcon and General Hawk because I I love those figures so much. But, um, yeah, this one was like almost a an absolute need. Um, I did not pre-order. I was just, I was just kind of thinking I stuff. might might get it if I ran into it and just happened into a. Our local game stops really good about getting this stuff way ahead of time. They don't get very much. They only get a few of them at a time, but it's because their pegs are short and yeah. um, they don't stock deep that they tend to run through a lot of this new stuff in a short order. Oh, uh, right on. So All yeah, right, that's right, that's right, what Steve got. I'm totally spent. It's yeah, going to take yeah. me like four more weeks to get more. Well, we, we have, I think we have like three seconds. So uh, enough to say, hey, thanks for joining us this time. We'll see you guys in the toy aisle.